Hello everybody, so it's that time again. I always like to record my monthly favorites once the actual month itself has commenced. So this video usually comes around the first or second depending on film time. So I have a lot of stuff because this year I was able to um, stay more consistent since I wasn't uploading Halloween tutorials like last year. I had a very, very short favorite video because I was not consistent. I was jumping around with all the different kind of looks I was coming up with. But definitely this month there was a lot of products that were something were things that I just could not live without, were things that were just like, I have to have this. I don't want to use anything else. So first off, we'll start with what's on my nails because I haven't been doing that. I'm sort of jumping back into doing manicures. So what is on my nails? We, I am wearing OPI's um, nail polish in Manicurist of Seville. It's this gorgeous raspberry. And then on top of it, I'm wearing OPI nail lacquer. This is a limited edition glitter in Simmer and Shimmer. And I picked up an additional one of these, and this one is in Extravaganza. The consistency of these glitters is really fine, very nice. I also have the same colors on my toes. It's really pretty. So that is Manicurist of Seville and Simmer Shimmer. And I'm going to correct the chipping and just repaint them in the same color because I love that combo. So next up is... Beyond Belief Ginger Snap uh, Lotion. This I got at Sally's. It is it is okay. It's not the creamiest, most buttery thing in the world, but it's nice because your hands don't feel all greasy. It's just white. So if you just need like a quick fix, these are nice to have in your bag or whatever because they don't leak or whatever. I have put the Beyond the Belief lotions to the ultimate test. I have, you know, let them, you know get knocked around in my bag. I've carried them for like months at a time. Like last year they had like a sugar one. I let it sit in my bag and it did not leak on me, did not burst. Um, it is definitely something nice to have in your bag for, you know, that, you know, when you need it and it's only two bucks. Also, a lot of you have already known that I got my hair done recently and I discovered some new fun products to help smooth and keep my hair nice and tame because I've been wearing it straighter lately. So I picked up Aveda's Smooth Infusion Style Prep Smoother because I got my hair done and cut and colored at an Aveda salon. So this is great. This makes your hair look really silky. It's been a long, long time since I've been able to like shake my head since my hair has fallen into my face. It may not be smooth enough for some of you out there, but for me, this is about as smooth as it gets. And then I also like Aveda's Brilliant Damage Control. Um, you could put this on damp hair and then you could use it to finish it off. And then I also like to do this with it to correct like any like little annoying little hairs that want to stick up and I also like it to do this okay so my next favorite thing this month I got back into nude lips this month and I'm not sure why but um, I've just been digging it I've been doing more dramatic eyes lately these lashes I'm wearing are makeup forever's number 108 so I've been kind of getting back into my high-end lashes again. They do really last if, after a few wears. So these are nice. Makeup Forever 108. I loved the Fairy Glen. I backed to MAC for this one. It's very sheer. But it makes a nice nude lip. You can wear it for a very dramatic eye, a very neutral day look. Also in my list of favorites, and this has been on my list of favorites for a few times now. This is also a great nice to have. Almost a must have. This is Cruella DeVille's Innocence Beware. Both lipsticks that came out with this collection are really nice. Innocence Beware is right there. Kind of like if you missed out on this and you cannot have this at all, I totally suggest, suggest Creme de Nude. Very, very nice. It is also my other favorite cream sheen by far. Speaking of cream sheens, no, we won't speak of cream sheens just yet. I'm going to tell you what I like to put on top of my nudes, and this is Bare Necessity Dazzle Gloss. 
I just plopped that on top of um, Innocence Beware. This was my very first Dazzle Glass. I love Bare Necessity. Now, my other favorite lipsticks this month. Speaking of cream sheens, my other favorite lipstick was Kittenish. Um, I loved this because I don't get to wear the full-on, like, fully pumped up, amped up, in your face, boom, deadly dark woman of night, um, you know, burgundies all the time. So Kittenish is that great um, way to go so that your boss isn't kicking you. And here is Kittenish. It goes on pretty sheer, but you still have that color concept. So I definitely like this. I also like the Prowl. It's sort of like a concept of film noir. And then, um, I also liked film noir. I love to wear this on my day off. It's like that great, you know, nice to wear color on your day off. Film noir, before anybody else scoops up this color for their favorite, film noir. This is a lovely satin finish and it's great couldn't be better. I love that it's matte. And I didn't wear tons of lip gloss this month. I was really more into a slightly more... I like the sophistication of the matte lips, this, or at least a creamy lip. And I also loved Full Fuchsia. This is a pro color. It's an amplified cream. It was launched with a tartan tail. Very pretty. So, I always love lips all the time. I For nude lip liners, strip down. It's very nice to have because I like nude lips but I don't like to blank them out. My favorite brushes are the Face Secrets Concealer Liner Brushes. This is from Sally's and the 187. I can't believe I didn't have this all my life. I always thought it would be too big for my face but I love. And my favorite highlight colors are Chamomile. This is just a soft satin chamomile color came out with Warm and Cozy. It's not crazy. But it, it's great because it blends out your colors really nicely without creating an outrageous shimmery brow bone if you aren't in the market for that. And um, tissue weight as well. Back in tish, into tissue weight. This came out with pret a I love it because it's a peachier version. Favorite color? Blush. Let's do blush. My favorite blushes. Some of you may have already know this or could figure this one out because I didn't really change up my blush a whole lot this month because I only wanted to wear these. My Blooming Cheek by MAC. My Highland Honey by MAC. Gotta love them both. And I love to blend them together as well. A lot of people said that they didn't think the color payoff is, of my Highland Honey was great. And to be honest, it's really just an inner glow from within type of color. And on some people... It, yes, it does not show up on some people. Um, so, you know, if that's the case, you can try cantaloupe or peaches. And that is her blooming cheek. You could blend out my her blooming cheek, and it is gorgeous. So, yeah, definitely don't waste your money on something that's not going to show up on you. And then I also loved NARS, in case the camera cut, because the battery doesn't want to cooperate. Sex appeal. I have a review of that, and I've worn it in a few tutorials. And I've also been into Max Face and Body. I'm wearing it now. It kind of reminds me of Prolong, except it's really, really dewy. So yeah. And I'm sure, um, I'm sure the Naked Palette will continuously jump back and forth through my favorites. But I reach for this a lot. Currently, I am wearing um, Virgin and Sin in my lid on top of Shell Cream Color Base from Mac, and then Smog and Dark Horse. Um, in my crease, and right underneath um, Smog and Dark Horse, I actually contoured my crease with some matte shadows, just so that I can get great uh, definition and not have a flat crease. But I contoured with Soft Brown and Cork, and then Inner Corner Highlight is Dazzle Light. And then, I've actually been doing a lot of green eyeliner underneath the eyes, so Graffiti, set with Sweet and Punchy. And then I'm wearing uh, Max Myself Luster Lipstick. I wish they would re-promote this. It is beautiful. So those are my favorites for the month, and I'll talk to you later.